The Illuminati project has made it possible for us here at Experimentarium Copenhagen to have a completely new exhibition lighting. In an exhibition room like this, we demand a lot from our lighting system. The light has to facilitate visitors who are moving around, who are physically active. So we shall avoid too many black spots where we cannot have our exhibits and we shall have a little bit more uniform lighting. Also, we like to have a better color rendering than we had before. And of course, the economy is also important. I'm talking both about economy as a matter of electricity consumption, where we have been successful to reduce it quite a lot, but also, of course, of the maintenance, so we, our maintenance staff can have a much more easy life. Our light here at Experimentarium can be, shall be used in different ways, like here, where we are going to light up this huge uh, T-Rex. Before, we could only uh, uh, lit it with a three times 500 watt halogen. Now we can do the same uh, job with a three times 27 uh, watt LED. It's only possible because we have a flexible uh, optical system. So uh, in one way, we can have it on a far distance and other times we can have it on a short range. And also, experiment time is in a transition phase. We are moving out of our old building, where we've actually been for 25 years, to a new building uh, in the centre of Copenhagen, while this one's being renovated. And the difficulty for us has been, how do we combine all this? We want to have better lighting, we want to be environmental friendly, and we want to have a lighting that works all these places. And it's been invaluable for us to be able to learn from the expertise in the EU-funded project Illuminate. So we've been able to learn and gain knowledge from lighting experts, from lighting design experts, from the other pilots, and also environmental knowledge. Uh, and this has made it possible for us to be able to uh, create this wonderful lighting that really seems to be working, and we look forward to having it in our new building when we open in two years' time. <laughs>